Hi, we're Charlotte and Corey and we are walking the Camino Portuguese over 12 days from Porto to Santiago de Compostela. We start our Camino on the coastal route before joining the central route walking a total of 271 kilometers. This is our Camino. <gasps> we are here! Our Camino adventure begins now. We are at the Cathedral in Porto. We are about to embark on a 280 kilometer journey, a pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela along the Portuguese Camino coastal route. Let's go! First things first, we are trying to make sure we're taking the right path out of Porto because we are going to do the coastal route, not the central route. The central route, I think, is the main route here from Porto exiting the city. So we're following our app. We've got the Wise Pilgrim app and it's telling us to go a slightly different direction to the main arrow. So we're just making sure we're following the right path to get to the coast. We've made it to the riverside. I think it'll be a little easier now <laughs> to know where we're going. We're just going to follow the river and we got so lucky last night was heavy rain it woke me up and now it's sunshine blue skies it's actually really lovely <sighs> we're on the camino well walking out of porto is a little bit noisy <laughs> you're sort of next to this road along the river which is nice scenery but it's just very noisy with all the cars we did find that when we were coming in and out of cities in the last camino that we did that seemed to be the case anytime we were near a city it was a lot of industrial areas and just heaps of noise which makes it a little bit unappealing but when you get out <laughs> once you get out of the city then we get to see more of the nature i am keen to get out of the city it's not a very relaxing <laughs> sound having all the cars next to you but that is just the way it is when you start in a city i guess Right, that is our lunch sorted. We've got two bits of bread each and we've got some hummus. And I've also got a massive jar of peanut butter um, because of the energy density of peanuts. Uh, I just thought that'd be a good snack option. I don't like peanut butter, so it's all for you. now at the Atlantic Ocean where the river meets and we can see on the sea walls these huge waves from the ocean just crashing up. It looks really cool, the kind of like crashing waves, you just want to sit down and watch them. I'm really glad we're out of the, you know, main city. Now we're just on this nice esplanade by the sea. A much nicer area to walk. We're about five kilometers in. We're six kilometers in, it's actually going really fast. I just thought we had done less than that, but that's nice and I'm really glad we've decided to do the coastal path. I love being by the coast, but we haven't seen any other Camino walkers. We saw a couple at the cathedral and a few locals have wished us good Camino, but yeah, we haven't seen anyone else yet. We've come into this kind of like built up beachfront area. Uh, Prior de Luz is the beach we just passed and there's lots of opportunities here for eating. Right down on the beach there's a few little like um, cafes and terraces and then like up on the strip here there's lots of different shops so yeah you don't really have to bring much on the first day it seems you've got heaps of opportunities to stop for lunch drinks there's lots of water fountains because this is a very popular walking route it seems so yeah it's, it's quite nice and we've got this stormy Atlantic Sea to our left very very rough and wild out there today and because of that we've just got this beautiful sea mist this salty mist in the air um, and a nice ocean breeze as well so it's quite pleasant we are in march mid to late march i think it's the 24th today so just for your reference if you're looking to do this this is what time of year we have done it we are not so late pilgrims on this journey we have spotted some more pilgrims up ahead i saw their shell and their backpack got very excited <laughs> We have actually walked the French way in 2018 and we started in St. Jean Pierre du Port and there obviously there's just loads of pilgrims so you start the day with just so many other people and this one it's so different because it's really just been us but I spot some down there. I spotted a girl further back who looked like she was on the Camino so I don't know it's like a yay when you spot other pilgrims it's nice.
Right, I think we're going to have a little lunch break before we get over further on. So it looks a little bit more industrial over there. We'll make the most of this nice kind of sea breeze, coastal view. Time for a snack. <laughs> Refueled and ready to carry on. Uh, feeling good so far. Feeling good. I always struggle with backpacks. Like the last Camino I did, I had a larger backpack. It was 38 liters and it was just way too big. This is 33. And I probably do have a little bit too much stuff, but even so, like I just always get bad shoulders, but at the moment I'm feeling okay. A general rule of thumb, a good guide to use is 10% of your body weight. So if you're 70 kilos, seven kgs, that's about the weight of the backpack that you could deal with, with 20 to 30 kilometers a day. This is pretty cool. Our path goes under the drawbridge of an old castle, an old fortress it looks like. Neat. Our first beach crossing. Ooh, very nice. I think this is Praia de Matasinos, which is the first town where we have to cross a bridge across a river. Uh, but first, the beach. Well, the information centre in this city, they gave us a stamp, a little like QR code to find information about the history of the Camino show, and they gave us a little badge. I'm going to put in my backpack. Across the first bridge we go. Uh, and we are leaving the city of Matosinhos, which seems quite nice. Fishing village, obviously grown into a port, bit of industry here. We have our Camino shells, but we found a shop and they had some cool um, badges. Souvenirs. Yeah. This one's really cool. Back to the coast, yeah, a little bit of a city to walk through, but to be honest, I really, really enjoy walking by the coast. Not a big fan of walking through the cities, Good for little stops to get snacks and stuff or souvenirs, but this is the best part. We're up to the last 10 kilometers now, and we, after we come through Mato Senos, we'll come back to the beach. Down a long sort of stretch of road, we have come to a boardwalk, which a lot of people are just running along. There's a few sort of restaurants and stuff placed along the boardwalk, but it is super nice to walk on. We've got the Atlantic Ocean here. Beautiful views, an oil refinery, <laughs> but this is nice. It's really nice and uh, easy walking. We've got a good pace on because it's just kind of nice and flat next to the ocean. How's your body holding up after 20 kilometers? Uh, I'm starting to get tired. My feet ache and my hips and my legs. The lower half of my body is saying, can we rest soon, please? But thankfully, we have just about three and a half k's to go until our albergue. We're gonna rest that tonight. How are your shoulders? You feeling shoulder pains? Uh, my shoulders are a little bit ouchy but more so my legs. But I'm gonna be very happy to take off my backpack, take off my shoes and have a rest. Okay. We just rescued this bird. Uh, it was just struggling, it was, it was caught up in the water, like it just looks exhausted. I don't know if it's just old, it's been attacked or it's just exhausted itself from maybe being caught in the water or flying, we put it in the sand away from the water and hopefully it can just rest up. Hey. Hello. 
We have 50 minutes to go. Thank Jesus. Nearly. Right, we've made it to La Brugge and uh, the albergue, the municipal albergue is our chosen um, bed for the night. 900 meters off the main road, which is not ideal. <laughs> I wish it was right here, but that's okay. It's next to a mini mart, so let's go and see um, what the options are for food tonight. Oh, surely it can't be much further. Surely we're nearly there. Curious. Is that it? No. The end is near. Oh, I feel like I'm seizing up now. We've never had this before on the Camino. We get a double bed. Ooh. <laughs> this one? This one? Ah. Well, we're all checked into our albergue now. Uh, we're at the municipal albergue. It is 10 euros each per person. We actually scored ourselves a double bed. We've never had that before on the, the other Camino that we did. So we've got this big bed. Um, it's in a sort of a dorm room. There's a few other beds in there as well. Very big rooms, a lot of space. Um, doesn't feel too claustrophobic. And the lady who checked us in, she was super lovely. Um, they've got amenities like shower, like a small kitchen and some areas where you can eat. Um, you can hang your washing outside and just sort of make yourself at home. We're just at the supermarket getting some stuff for dinner and I'm having a cheeky bag of crisps and a can of Superbock. It's been a good day. Sun setting on your first day, hun? Yeah, nearly the end of our first day on the Camino. We've just popped to the little Mini Mart nearby, grab some stuff to make a pasta. We are both, I think we've re we're pooped, aren't we? Yeah, I forgot how hard the Camino <laughs> is. We've done 25 kilometers. I guess the one saving grace is this coastal route is like really flat. Yeah, it, it is definitely a easier terrain than the French way. Yeah. That first day on the French route was just like in the Pyrenees Mountains, but yeah, this is really flat. I, yeah, I really enjoying being by the coast. I think that is really, really nice. But yeah, we are off to make some dinner, have a good sleep, and we'll see you guys on day two.